If only these walls could talk, they would tell the miraculous story of the so-called Palace of Nitzanim. It's a story which begins more than 100 years ago and takes in the history of the region in some of its most dramatic moments. This place was actually at first a palace that was built by an effendi, and he built this, it was his home, and he had four women, and they all lived here, and then in a certain, in a certain point, they left this place. And in 1948, uh, this place became a kibbutz, Kibbutz Nitzanim. The kibbutz was, was here up until 1948. This site was also a key location in the 1948 Israeli War of Independence. The Egyptian forces bombarded the kibbutz. Many kibbutz members escaped, a controversial act which gained internal criticism and sparked a dispute among the Jews. The palace was one of the strongholds where members of the kibbutz hid during the fighting. The Egyptian army attacked this whole southern part of Israel. They came in mostly through Gaza. Around Nitzanim, around this kibbutz, there were also a lot of uh, Arab villages. And Nitzanim didn't really have the tools to win this fight. They tried to ask for help from the Palmach and people around, and the Israeli army who was barely existent, but the situation was they were under attack and they tried to fight the, the Egyptian army and the Arab villages around, uh, but the situation became unbearable and they had to come to a certain decision. The battle of Nitzanim was also captured in Avi Nesher's acclaimed movie, Image of Victory, which is also dedicated to one of the heroes of Nitzanim, a woman named Mira Ben-Ari, who became a symbol of bravery after she decided to stay and protect the kibbutz, leaving her young child in a safe place. We can see a special monument dedicated to her and to all the fighting women in the history of Israel. They decided to surrender. The commander here from uh, Givati, so he came with Mira Benari, which was one of the women that decided to stay here. She was also one of the moms that left her child with the rest of the women. So they came both to, to the officer, to the Egyptian officer, and they asked him, uh, and they wanted to surrender. Like they, they t took one of the guns and tied a white shirt to it, and they lifted up. And uh, the commanding officer didn't really like that, and he shot the the commander that. That was here, and Mira, in a response, immediately shot the the Egyptian officer. Kibbutz Nitzanim fell into the hands of the Egyptian forces. Later, it was recaptured by the Israelis, but not resettled. A new kibbutz bearing the same name was built a few hundred meters from there. There is no harder separation than the one of a mother from her child. But I'm saying goodbye to my child, so he can grow up in a safer place and be a free man in his country. These words of Mira Ben-Ari still echo in the palace of Nitzanim.